everyone. Uh, so my name is Vishwa and um, I'm a visual artist. And uh, I think so this is our first video. And um, what we're going to do is uh, talk about some paintings that I haven't even seen yet or like seen since a long time. So um, a couple of years ago, I had to um, box up my paintings because we were moving and stuff. And I haven't gotten a chance to open that box ever since. And it's been like, what, four, five, six years, I guess. So yeah, we're going to open them up today and uh, yeah, we're going to talk about them and I'm really excited about it. It's such an, it's such an unreal feeling because I never thought I would spend so much time away from looking at my paintings. As well as the fact that like, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like many of them because they seem so immature and like the subject is going to be quite immature as well. But yeah, I think I'm looking forward to um, seeing them again and uh, kind of just reminiscing how it was like when I was younger. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm looking forward to it overall. I didn't know there were so many! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Dude, there's so many! Holy! Okay, I'm gonna... Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna go with this one because I can already see which one it is. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> ah. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh wow. Oh, let me show you guys. I have a note attached to it. What? <laughs> this is such a surprise. Oh, it's my rubric from that class. Oh my god. Oh, what is this? Oh my god. How'd you I do? To, huh? How'd you do? I did. Hold on. So this is my culminating artist statement. I'm so glad I know what the inspiration for this painting was. I'm going to share it with you guys in like two seconds. I got... Okay, so the teacher wrote, well done. 99%! Whoa! 29, uh, okay, 29.6 out of 30. <laughs> Whoa! Um, yes, yeah, so let me show you guys the painting. <laughs> it's so cute! <laughs> I love the color combinations. I, I do remember how I really wanted to, um, add like shades of different colors um and i love the way i've done that it's so it's so immature because like like there's no shading or anything but it's still it's still so beautiful and it's still so innocent i love it so this painting was inspired um by this artist whose name is paul klee and the artist artwork was a young lady's adventure I'm gonna show a picture of this. So yeah, the painting was about uh, just respect for nature. I remember how I felt in this moment <clears throat> when I was when I was done the painting. The, the subject is worshiping uh, a bird and basically nature, and she's kind of in like a cove, um, a natural cove. Yeah, I wish she had like she had a better body, but it's okay. I love the eyes because they're like so minimal and so deep okay moving on to the next one okay this one i'm gonna show it to you guys i don't even know if it's straight or... okay i know what it is <laughs> i can see it from the back <laughs> i was trying to imitate oil because i remember doing texture and for a really long time, I didn't know that um, acrylic paint doesn't really stand up or like, like you know, stay in its um, position. <clears throat> so I kept doing it and luckily it did turn out like, you know, I could touch it right now and I could see that um, it did stay like in a couple of places. But yeah, and then like I learned the fact that it's oil that actually um, stays, you know, it has the texture that I, I wanted to um, represent. Yeah, it's such a serene painting. It's just so beautiful to see it again. Cause this is what I felt like when I was painting it. Um, this is um, I think the initial phase. I painted this when I was in the phase of understanding what spirituality is and 
you know the effects of meditation. On to the next one. The way I used to sign my name. Oh my god. <laughs> this for this was for Ganesh Chaturthi. I made it for my mom and dad. Oh my god, this is one of the first paintings in which I used a palette knife. And I used it with um acrylic paint. <clears throat> it turned out very well. Oh wow, that's beautiful. It's so it's so bright. I love the details of the eyes and everything. <laughs> the fingers. <laughs> I think I was really into um, forms and shapes because I remember being all excited to like finish the coloring of the painting so that I could get to like the black and the brown of like you know the details. I know how much I hate details now, so I can't believe it was. It's such a phase, it's such an evolution of an artist. It's it's amazing. Okay, on to the next one. I think, you know, I'm gonna like the big ones more than the smaller ones because I was more confident when I was painting the big ones because it was more pressure, right? To like, because it's a bigger canvas and it's a bigger piece of art. Ooh, I remember this! Oh my god. Yep, this was also an attempt to try to paint like, um, like I was painting with oil paints. And uh, I was trying to imitate this artist whose name is Leonid Efremov. I think Efremov, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name. Uh, yeah, I was, I was trying to um, imitate his style because he, he paints like this, but of course he paints with oil. And um, I wasn't very sure that it was oil. I don't know why I never paid attention to the fact that it was a different medium of paint. But yeah, I mean, it's okay. I eventually did, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all I have to say for this one. I remember how much mom hated this painting. Because <laughs> it was, it was so like dark. Oh, okay, I think this is the time I, I think I started to kind of, you know, become a little more confident in with my strokes. And like, let go a little bit because I was like, I was so, like I wanted perfection. I wanted the skin to look like skin, you know? But like this is the time when I realized that, you know, it doesn't have to be so perfect. And um, yeah, like look at this. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I love it. Yeah, it's a little off. The dimensions and like the face is a little off, but I really like it. I love the fact that my paintings reflect like my feelings about life and like philosophy and spirituality. I remember mixing blue and black because that's something that's so so different. I've never done that before. And you can see the blue here. I love that it's so greenish and bluish and beautiful. I'm proud of my younger self. I'm proud of the fact that I stuck with this. Okay, I think this is too many and um, to do in one, one video. So I think maybe we should have a part two. What do you guys think? And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought in the comments about me just unboxing my old paintings. And maybe you guys have unboxed your other artwork or paintings or books or you know other kind of artifacts. Yeah. What you guys felt about it? Like maybe you liked it. Maybe you were like, oh, I, I want to put this back in the box. Or yeah, whatever it is. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to chat with you guys about it. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys have a good day, night, evening, uh, whatever it is. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.